I'd now like to introduce our university president, Harvey Stenger, who will provide us uh, with an update uh, on the university. Harvey? I noticed that he said our university president. I like that, Larry. I, I do feel that when you say the word our, that we're not just talking about that thing over there on the other side of the river. We're talking about the community. So I, I appreciate you, you giving me that, that role today. Larry and I were talking about the, the history of this area, and I've been watching the two DVDs, and I'm sure everybody here has watched the story of, of Johnson and the story of Watson, and tremendous stories of those two people and their organizations that came to this community and created something that was almost unimaginable when they began. I think we're at the same point in our history right now. We are sitting here perhaps in an area that we consider stressed, um, not as good as it used to be, and we're having a hard time as a community imagining that future 20 years from now. So recently when I was meeting with our vice presidents and our deans, I said I have heard that I, or I read somewhere that we are called by an outside organization, I think it was the Fisk Review, we were called the premier public university in the Northeast. And I said, I think that's too long. I want to be the premier public university. So I'm going to set the stake pretty far out there. It's going to be a, a long journey to become the premier public university in the 21st century, or in the United States, certainly not just the Northeast. It will involve great students. It will involve great faculty. It will involve a larger community on campus and will involve a greater impact in the regional economy. One of the things that we're working on almost immediately, if you go over to campus, is the construction of a $300 million addition to our residence hall that will have 1,100 students living in it, about half of them living there now. Alongside of that, if you drive down the parkway and you see that steel rising up alongside of our, inside of our ITC campus, that's the Center of Excellence, a LEED certified platinum building, the highest LEED certification that you can get that has a, uh, a very interesting energy conservation and water retention system there that I, that I would love to have you come over and see and, and tour sometime. And we're proposing right now to the governor our New York SUNY 2020 Challenge Grant program. This is very exciting and I'm glad that I got here at this time to see it get to the point of being approved. It will allow us to apply the rational tuition policy that SUNY has approved for the university centers. It will bring over the next five years $59 million per year more of tuition revenue and research revenue to the southern tier. It will provide approximately 375 jobs on campus and if you multiply that through standard economic impact factors that means approximately twice as many jobs to three times as many jobs in the community. So that $59 million of revenue will multiply three to four times in the community and have an economic impact of close to $160 million per year. The plan is there for our construction of a new building, a $60 million building that will house our new smart energy center that will focus on photovoltaics, batteries, thermoelectric storage, uh, data center energy conservation, as well as remote sensors for protecting our environment for uh, energy resource development. With this increase in enrollment, I think the community will continue to become vibrant. We will add faculty in all the disciplines, not just in the areas of energy. The students that will come here will be the best and the brightest students from around the world, and they'll be strong participants in the regional economy. As I was coming here today with Terry Kane, and we were driving through, through Binghamton, and he was giving me some of the history, as Terry, only Terry can do, the history of some of the the construction in some of the, the towns around here. Uh, we were talking about the Binghamton Forum, this event, and I was then talking to Larry about this event and this organization, and we were trying to imagine, and we both have a connection in Ithaca, we were trying to imagine that institution trying to do something like this. And I said, it, it wouldn't work there. Uh, this is a compatible relationship between the university and the community. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like a marriage between us. When he said our president, I think that that indicated that this is a community event that's strong and that I'm going to be committed to making even stronger in the future. Thank you for coming today and thank you to our new members for joining.